So hi everyone, my name is Shurish Gupta. So today we are going to discuss another question which was appeared on the uh, examination of Cognizant. So the question is, you are provided uh, with two strings, S1 and S2. In S1, you can perform op operations such as adding, removing or swapping letters. Each operation has a specific cost value associated with it as shown below. If a letter is removed from S1, the cost is zero. If a pair of letters are swapped in S1, the cost is zero. If a new letter is added to the end of the S1, the cost is one. Your task is to find and return an integer value representing the minimum cost required to transform the string S1 into S2. The strings S1 and S2 consist of uppercase uh, alphabets only. So the input specification is there will be two in, uh, input strings S1 and S2 and the output specification is return an integer value representing minimum cost required to transform the strings S1 and S2 ok so example is ABD and AABCCAD output is 4 why so this explanation is here ABD and AABCCAD so add a new L the first point uh, in the first step what uh, here is doing add a new element a at the end of s1 this will make the composition a b d a okay now swap the last a first with d and then with b means after adding a the string becomes a b d a then swap the last a first with d means it will become a b a d and then B means AABD. This will result AABD and the cost will be 1 as because you are adding A at the end. That's why. Add two C's at the end. The This will make the composition AABDCC. After this, swap the D with the last C. This will result AABCCD okay and the cost will be 2 why as because we are adding two c's at the end of this uh, string s1 add 1a to a a b c c d to make the string a a b c c d a and then swap the last a with d means it will become a a b c c a d and the cost will be 1 as because adding another a here so now right now we are uh, the s1 becomes s2 so total uh, cost will be 1 at the beginning we are adding an a after that we are adding two c's that's why 2 1 plus 2 at the end we are adding another a so 1 plus 2 plus 1 4 here uh, hence 4 is written as the output another example is a, B, C and X, Y, Z. The output is 3. Why? As because nothing is matching here. Okay. First of all, nothing is matching here. In these two, in these two things. Two strings. Okay. So, what we are doing? We are deleting each and every character from the string, string 1. And adding the total string 2. The, all the characters of string 2. That's why total uh, 3 additions are happening here. So, that's why the cost, total cost is 3. Okay. So here is the code. I have written the code in Java. So what we have done, I have done here, I have used dynamic programming. So what I am checking at the first, I am checking the longest common subsequence between these two strings. So if you notice these two strings minutely, then you will be able to understand that. The first string is ABD and the second string is AABCCAD. Okay. So you can see that in the second string ABD, you can make a subsequence of a, this string ABD. The first day or the second day, the second day with B and with D. With the last D. But you can not use this A as because you have to uh, maintain the order okay 
so this is the thing and the first string is abd so you can uh, say that the longest common subsequence between these two string, uh, string, uh, strings is abd which has the length is 3 okay so from this what we can understand we can understand that we don't need to change for these three characters the uh, three characters are already present in the string one we need to do other things irrespective of uh, irrespective of this one okay so what we need to do we need to add another a two c's and another a okay that's why the result goes to four that's the main justification behind this test case so if we come to this string uh, example 2 here you can say see that abc and xyz so between these two strings nothing is matching no no character is matchable here between these two string uh, strings so what is the length of this longest common subsequence here it is zero okay so we need to add all the three characters which is present in the string 2 into that uh, string 1 and we, uh, before that we need to remove all the uh, uh, characters of string 1 okay so how we can do this one we can perform this one just we need to calculate the longest common subsequence the length of the longest common subsequence and uh, we can uh, do the subtract subtraction between the length of the string 2 and the length of the longest common subsequence means the length of the string 2 minus longest the length of the longest common subsequence okay so in right now our main motto will be we need to calculate the length of the longest common subsequence so how we are doing this one this so I am using the taking help of dynamic programming and the name of the process is memoization not memorization memoization okay so here what in the back uh, actually what I am doing I am creating a uh, actually then uh, just here and what I'm doing I'm creating a 2d array okay and making the length of string uh, 1 length plus 1 into string 2 length plus 1 if I take string 1 uh, length of the string 1 uh, string 1 as M and length length of the string 2 as N then the size of this uh, 2d array will be m plus 1 into n plus 1 ok so now what we are doing here I am just checking from the index 1 in both the strings if string 1 dot caret i minus 1 equals to equals to string 2 dot caret j minus 1 then what we can do we can add 1 with the value of k of i minus 1 j minus 1 uh, with the value of k i minus 1 and j minus 1 just what you are doing k i minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1 and uh, putting that uh, value keeping that value in the position k i j ok so this is the thing I am doing and we know that whenever we declare any array so in the beginning from, uh, by default there will be the array uh, elements will be 0 so here 0 plus 1 is adding as 1 whenever it is uh, satisfying this uh, condition ok if the condition is not satisfying then what we are doing we are doing just kij is equal to math dot max k i minus 1 j or and k i j minus 1 I am checking which one is the maximum value between these two elements I am just putting that value into the uh, in, in this position k i j ok so 
if we just draw a 2d array here then the uh, if we check that one that how it's increasing the value that's because here you can see that the length is 3 here so it will uh, we can say that we will see that it will increase in this way diagonally it will increase in this uh, in the uh, 2d array okay so one at the beginning it will be one after that it will become two after that it will become three in this way it will increase if we draw the um, 2d array and uh, whenever it's uh, the uh, condition is not satisfying so uh, means the condition means this one is not satisfying then we are checking which is the greater of the position here and here means i minus one sorry uh, yeah i minus one j and uh, i j minus one in these two positions okay i'm just putting that value the maximum value of this here okay whenever the condition is satisfying here i'm just adding one with this one okay in this way at the last most index i will get the length of the longest common subsequence okay that's the thing i'm doing here so ultimately what i'm getting in this location in this index that I am getting the longest the value of longest common subsequence between S1 and sorry str1 and str2. So here what I am doing I am taking a variable count and I am doing count plus equals to the length of string to minus that value of means the value of the length of longest common subsequence and I am returning the value of count here. Okay so this is the explanation here so let's run this code okay so enter the string one so i'm taking the first example what is the first first example a b d okay a b d now the second example is a a b c c a d a a b c c a d okay so the output should be 4 so let's check the output what will be the output you can see that 4 operation required so let's run again and check the second test case which is given here what is that one that one is abc and xyz okay abc and xyz the output should be 3 you can see that the output is 3 let's again check another test case okay so the test case is c i'm taking the only uh, uh, value c here and the uh, string 2 will be g a q so what will be the answer as per our calculation as far as for the uh, question as for the question the output should be 3 as because from the string 1 we need to remove the C and we have to add G A Q all the characters there as and uh, what will be the length of the uh, longest common subsequence between this, these two strings that will be 0 okay so output should be 3 let's check this one yeah the answer is 3 so let's reverse this one I'm taking string 1 as GAQ and string 2 is C the output is 1 why as because we need there is as there is the length of the longest common subsequence is 0 so it means that we need to delete or remove all these values and we know is in the question it's mentioned that the deletion cost is zero only the addition cost is one so what i am doing here we are removing 
deleting the G A Q and adding C there so that's why one operation is required so you can practice this type of question uh, in the online portal as well so suppose in this uh, you can also get this in, in uh, lead code also I think so in gigs for gigs there is another uh, there is a question here minimum number of deletions and insertions so in this question the question is almost same so another thing we need to discuss about the time complexity here also so what is the time complexity the time complexity is order of m into n so m representing the length of the string 1 and n representing the length of the string 2 okay and what is the uh, space complexity uh, not space complexity the auxiliary space complexity so the auxiliary space, uh, space complexity will be also order of m into n why as because i am declaring i am declaring a 2d array here okay uh, with the length of m plus 1 into n plus 1 we can ignore the 1 here and we can simply say order of m into n so the space complexity here is order of m on into a it's also the uh, space complexity also the order of m into a so similarly you can see here the constraints also given in this code also the same thing okay so here the question is little bit different so what is the difference let's uh, read this one given two strings string one and string two the task is to remove or insert the minimum number of characters from or in string one so as to transform it into string two it could be possible that the same character needs to be removed or delete from one point of string one and insert it to some another point so you can uh, go through the explanation also suppose the first string is heap and second one is pea so p and h deleted from heap then p is inserted at beginning so here everything is calculating 2 is deleting 2 thing is deleting p and h is deleted and p is inserted at the beginning so 1 insertion 2 deletion so total 2 plus 1 3 ok we are also uh, taking the cost of deletion here 1 that's why the total cost is here 3 ok so the logic is almost same here what do you need to do just we need to just add one extra line here what you need to uh, what you need to check we need to do count plus equals to str1 dot length minus k of i minus 1 j minus 1 as you need to okay yeah so as we need to calculate the deletions as well so we, we are doing this one also so let's copy this code here and just simply paste if I just paste here uh, not from here wait <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah java is selected so if I just paste it here and run the compile this one first we can say that the compilation is successful and the test case is uh, matching so let's submit this one there are total 1115 test cases are there you can say that check that see that that every test cases is matching so we are all we will also paste this link of this problem as well in the comment section so you can go through this code as well and you can practice here also this type of codes it will help helpful for you all okay so thank you very much bye bye